Welcome back, friends. Today we're going to talk about a question. We're going to answer a question, I should say, uh, that I get quite often, and that is, is the 7.3 gasser that Ford came out with in 2020, is it worth the upgrade over the 6.2 base V8 you get in the Super Duties? So again, they came out with the Godzilla motor back in 2020, and uh, I've had both of these trucks now. I've had a 6.2 for quite some time, and I've had the 7.3 for uh, well over a year. Is it worth the upgrade? It's about a $2,000 upgrade. I'm going to give you some facts first, and then I'll give you my opinion towards the end of the video. Shouldn't be that long of a video. I hope you'll stick around. Okay, I want to start by uh, going over the facts of these two power plants. Uh, I've got some cheat sheet right here, so if you see me looking down, that's what's going on. We'll start with the 6.2. My real world uh, experience with that, my MPG's real world, I can't, it's hard for me to say, I don't know why. 11.9 uh, average everyday driving, 11.9 MPG's, and towing was 9.5. With the 7.3, I get 14.5 MPG's everyday driving and uh, 9.5 again with the towing. On the 7.3, all right, let's go back to the 6.2 first. On the 6.2, I had 373 gearing. On the 7.3, I have 355 gearing. I uh, also understand that this new truck, the new 7.3, has a 10-speed automatic transmission. My 6.2 had a six-speed. I'm not 100% sure whether or not you can hook that 10-speed up to a 6.2 now. It might be an option. Uh, hop down in the comment section and let me know if that is an option. I know most dealerships are ordering 6.2s with the 6-speed. So if you're going on a dealership and you find one, that's probably what's going to have. If you find a 7.3, good luck, uh, they're probably going to have a 10-speed. So that's kind of where I'm coming from there. Horsepower numbers for the 6.2, you get 385 horsepower at 5,500 RPMs. And you get 400 foot, 405 foot-pounds of torque at 4,500 RPMs. With the 7.3, you get 430 horsepower at 5,500 RPMs. Same RPMs there. And your torque bumps up to 475 foot-pounds of torque. But you get it at a little less lower RPM at 4,000. Now, that doesn't sound terribly different. But let's get into where the 7.3 just leaves the 6.2 in the dust in my experience. We're starting to get to my opinion now. I got some a little bit more fact for you here. Probably the, easily actually the most important fact for you and that is torque curves. So let's take a look at this torque curve right here. You can uh, you can see there just at first glance they don't look that different. They don't look a whole heck of a lot different. With 75 foot-pounds of torque or so there uh, you get an extra 75 foot-pounds of torque there at 1500 RPMs. But here's, here's the kicker. Here's what I want you to think about if you get anything from this video that will help you make a decision on whether or not you should go with the 7.3. Look how long it takes the 6.2, that blue line right there, to get to the torque of the uh, 1500 RPMs of the 7.3. So the 7. In other words, the 7.3 is starting at 1500 RPMs. It's already at 400 foot-pounds of torque, right? you're going to have to get up to about 4,200 RPMs, 4,250 RPMs to get to 400 foot-pounds of torque with the 6.2. And that whole area right there where the, the gray line is just dusting the blue line, that's where you live when it goes to towing, when it comes to towing. So, so yeah, that's why, in my opinion, the 7.3 is a much better towing experience than the 6.2. The 6.2 will absolutely get the job done in my situation, 7,500 pound travel trailer, uh, not that much weight. I would even say up to 10,000 pounds, you're going to be fine. It'll get it done. The the 7.3 is just a comfortable tow. All right, it's it's like a lot of people go from gas to diesel to get a more comfortable tow. Well, you can go from gas the 6.2 to 7.3 and get a more comfortable tow as well. It's more than enough truck for my needs. It's one reason why I traded that diesel in. I have no regrets about that. And uh, you can see where there's just a big difference there. Imagine revving a big V8 to 4,200 RPMs. That's, that's rolling right there. That's spinning. 
So, uh, so yeah, that's what makes the difference in the towing experience. Now, I kind of just elaborated on my opinion. Uh, currently, the 7.3 is a little over $2,000 to upgrade. Uh, if you want the 10-speed transmission, that's another chunk of change. In my opinion, and this is having both, it's absolutely worth it. It's absolutely worth it. You guys, uh, the gas prices are changing so much right now. I didn't even do the math on that, but you guys can see. Um, you can do the math on how long it would take you to save the gas money. But as far as just towing experience, everyday driving experience, just coming out of a red light or passing or anything like that, uh, even though the lower gearing on the 7.3, it's still a much better experience everyday driving and especially uh, towing our travel trailer. So anyway, guys, there you go. Any questions, please put them in the comments box below, comment section below. I'm sure I've missed something. I'm sure you still have questions, but this is one of the most common questions we, we get, and hopefully I address that, at least mostly addressed it for you. Again, I hope this video was useful, and if it is, as always, consider subscribing. See you guys.